Good morning, it's Dave at All Important Reviews, and today I've got with me a Vincero Chrono S Rose Gold and White Quartz Chronograph Watch. Now, Vincero are a fashion brand, they've only been around for a few years, they're a bit of a controversial brand. They're widely reviewed across uh, YouTube and widely, um, you know, criticised for various reasons, which I'll talk about in a bit. But this is a kind of dressy, formal, very attractive watch, which is why I did buy it a few years ago. I think I picked this up in 2018 or 2019, I'm not sure now. Um, and I wear it, you know, with a shirt sometimes if I'm in a business meeting at work. Um, or if there's a kind of more formal occasion. I generally do not wear any watch with a leather strap. This one, this is the stock strap, uh, strap that it came with. Um, it's an Italian leather. Um, but let's go with the, the basics. So this is a 43 millimeter watch, uh, 11, 11 millimeters thick. That's the stated spec, so it's actually a bit thicker. 43 millimeters. Yeah, just about. Um, obviously it's got the chronograph function. When I reset it, um, leather strap, quartz movement. I think it's a Japanese Miyota. Does have some kind of Latin numerals on the back or Latin writing um, with this kind of marble exhibition window. Although it's actually you can't really see through it, but it isn't. It does. It is a. Apparently it is real marble. Um, not that I really care about that kind of thing because I don't really care about the case back. Um, it's a stainless steel case, obviously in rose gold, with a beautiful face, a uh, white face, with some subdials on there. And this subdial at least does work. Um, it's a very light watch. Probably, probably because the materials are not exactly high quality. Um, and these types of watches, obviously, with them being quite thin, are not designed to be heavy watches because they've got to fit under a shirt cuff, etc. Um, the, the dial, I think it's... Well, I think the crystal is sapphire coated. Again, I think it's a kind of mineral crystal with a layer of sapphire to give it more scratch resistance i haven't verified that um i will buy the tool eventually that will enable me to verify uh you know this material but i've not verified that um we'll have to take tech vincero at the word the reason why i bought this watch because it is because i love the the rose gold and white contrast i think it looks stunning especially with the brown leather band um you know the the leather band is actually quite good i have wore it a bit i've added another hole in there um when i when i first bought this watch a few years ago i i used to wear watches very tight on the wrist or quite tight as I've kind of moved towards bracelet watches as, as my everyday watch, I no longer wear them as tight. So I wouldn't require it to be on that setting anymore. I would wear it a bit looser. But anyway, um, there's no loom other than on the hands. Um, but it isn't difficult to tell the time on this watch really, because the face is quite big at 43 millimetres. <laughs> I think overall the, the watch looks very, very good. I'll just put it on the wrist. It 
fills my wrist pretty nicely. They also do a 40 millimeter version of it. For those that have smaller wrists or like a smaller watch. And if I was buying it again, would I buy it in 40 millimeters? Hmm, that's a tough one. I, you know, I think I would keep it at 43 for this watch. I think I would. Fits very well. The band is very comfortable. I don't know how hard wearing it is because I've not wore it that much because I don't really wear leather bands. However, you can buy it. Well, you can do it. You can put it on whatever you want, but you can buy off Vincero um, a rose gold mesh strap or you can buy a black leather band or I suppose um, you could just buy any other off, off the shelf aftermarket strap. Possibly like some kind of black, you know, rubber strap, but one of them that looks a bit more, you know, formal and not just, um, you know, not definitely not a diver's rubber band. But you can get something like something like the AliExpress Oyster Flex homages that look very good. I think that would look quite good on one of these watches. Um, it is a fashion brand. They don't have a big horological history but ultimately watches ge generally you know very few people go diving with watches on or require them as complete tool, tool watches and ultimately this is about um it, it, it's ultimately fashion watches I, I believe the vast majority of people that collect watches and wear watches and celebrities it's about fashion ultimately um, and so looks are obviously uh, an overwhelming factor about whether you'll wear a watch. And the reason why I do like some Vincero watches is not because they're good quality, because they're not. They're very moderate quality. Um, you know, I think if I dropped this, it would easily smash the crystal, unfortunately. Um, although I don't have too many scratches in the case, which is stainless steel. Um, but... I, you wear watches ultimately for their looks and I do think this watch looks very, very attractive. I think they've done a great balance here, keeping it kind of vintage looking whilst also unique. And I think that the looks of this watch are, you know, five out of five really. And that's why I bought it. And, you know, you can get, it. you know, people have said, well, you can buy one with better, better, better leather, a better case, better water resistance, although this has 50 meter water resistance, which is not bad for a chronograph at this price point. But um, ultimately, the ones that I've seen that are similar price to it do not look as attractive as this watch. You know, the three little sub dials, the Vincero um, logo, it all looks very good. Now, one pet hate of mine is that the seconds hand does not align with the markers on the edge of the dial. But anyone who knows anything about watches will know that even for watches that cost a thousand pounds, that sometimes doesn't happen. So it's not a big, you know, bugbear. It's not it's not the end of the world. I didn't expect it to align. It is actually aligning right now, but it, eventually it'll get around to not aligning. I mean, I will never use the chronograph as many people will never use so it's not an issue for me that overall it's a good effort from Vincero in terms of the looks department materials and overall quality is moderate um for, for the price point they're not cheap they're they're around 150 pound although I did not pay for that I actually paid less than that I had it in some type of deal I paid quite a bit less than that actually I think I paid about 110 for it 120 quid um, and you can sometimes get them on eBay for a lot cheaper than that second hand and ultimately if you want an attractive watch that's a kind of more dressy formal look that you don't want to break the bank and spend loads of money they're not a bad option but don't think that you're getting quality because you're not you're just getting um, you know an attractive watch that's basically built in a cheap kind of case because you can you can see kind of sterile versions of these watches on aliexpress for about you know 15 quid 20 quid i think so overall not a bad effort 
and I'm glad I have it in my collection just as an option there when I want to wear this type of, of watch. Okay, please subscribe. It's been Dave at All Important Reviews. Thanks for checking my review out. Cheers.